I, you know, if I look at the Lee Business School and our, and our MBA program, I think we do a really good job because our program is so diverse. Our, our, our students are so diverse, that's a wonderful thing. If we can bring those students in, you know, when I teach in the MBA program, one of my biggest things is this should not be a lecture. This should be a two-way discourse. And if you feel like you're not being listened to, then I'm sort of failing as a professor. So I want, I want my students to feel like they can empower each other, learn from each other. There's a lot of networking. So I think one of the things we give our students is I think, and I, I think I'm fairly consistent with other faculty, is that we want our students to be empowered in the classroom. We want them to bring in their, their, their previous knowledge. The thing about an, an MBA is, in general, is we want people who have experience and, and whether that experience is working or other degrees or maybe living overseas or any number of things that we often bring into our program, our students, um, their ability to bring that into the classroom really does enhance the classroom experience. And so we've had a lot of students from pretty much every area, engineering, accounting, um, hospitality. I've had a lot of hospitality students as well. And they just, they're able to bring in so much. So I think our, our school, the Lee Business School, our goal is to try to bring that diversity in because that's one of our big pillars and really use that to make our program that much better. You know, if you're a prospective student, if you're somebody that is considering an MBA, I think there's a couple of things. One, this is a great program because we do have, I feel like we have a lot of full-time faculty participating in our program who do do research as well, who have had jobs. Uh, many of us have worked for years in the marketplace. Many of us have MBAs. We understand what you're going through. I did a part-time MBA like many of my students, so I understand when they come and they're tired and it's seven o'clock at night. I get it. Um, and so I think one of the benefits we have, you know, UNLV has in our MBA program is we, we we, we are here to help them and encourage them, but we're not going to you know, hold them to a standard that people didn't hold us to. Um, but I think for prospective students, and I tell this to my students that are finishing their undergrad all the time, I'll see you in a few years. You know, I feel like come back, get that MBA because it is a really hard degree, but it, to me it really separates, um, it separates the marketplace. You know, to me, I always joke when I tell my students that was in many ways the biggest bang for my buck degree-wise. Um, when I got an MS and a PhD and became a professor, that was a change in career. But when I got an MBA, that was a change in, for me, in, in basically how I was treated in the workplace. I, I felt like all of a sudden I was legitimized. I knew more what was going on. I was able to talk to people from all different facets of the company. I had you know, less myopia when it boils down to it. And so I, I tell prospective students, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Go, go study for that GMAT you know, um, and do study for the GMAT. <laughs> um, don't just like slap your way into that GMAT. Get that book, study for, for four or five months. Come see some of the professors on campus. Let us help you, you know, we'll mentor you. And, um, but I strongly believe, you know, come back to graduate school, it's a great idea.